Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my June and July favorites. If you haven't seen my other favorites videos, I have quite a few, so I will link that playlist above. And as usual, I will link everything that I am able to link below in the more info bar so that if you are interested in anything that I'm mentioning today and you wanna go check it out, you can go ahead and do that. I have quite a few different favorites this month or for the past two months for June and July. So I figure we should just jump right in. I always start off with food and drinks in my favorites video, so let's start there. The three things that I have been most enjoying in the food and drink category have been peaches, chocolate milk, and fruit leather, which are, it's a funny combination of things, and I don't mean I am enjoying them all together. Just those three things have been absolutely what I've been enjoying the most over the months of June and July. If you don't know, I'm 28 weeks pregnant right now, and so I'm having a lot of cravings, and my cravings have been for mostly fruit and chocolate milk, so this isn't that shocking. So chocolate milk is one of those things. And then peaches, I have been loving. White peaches, yellow peaches, yum. They just taste so good to me. I've been eating peaches 24-7, like as many as possible. <laughs> there was a day the other day where I was on my third peach in one day, and my husband was like, how many peaches have you had today? Because we had a bunch in, in the kitchen this morning, and they're almost all gone, and I was like, mm there's no telling. And then fruit leather is the third thing, which is sort of like a fruit roll up. Um, it's a little bit thicker, a little bit of a different texture, but very similar. It's like a dried fruit gummy snack kind of thing. And um, I just have been loving, loving it. So definitely sweeter things have been more of what I'm interested in, but any kind of fruit has just tasted so good lately, specifically peaches. They have been delicious. Moving on to my makeup and beauty section, as usual, I have my phone here to remind me, um, so if I'm looking down, that's why. The first thing that I wanna talk about are my eyelash extensions. I've gotten lots of que questions about these extensions. I've had them on now for um, about two and a half months, two months, something like that. And I did talk about them pretty extensively and kind of go over the most common questions that I've been asked um, since I got them on. And I did that in my latest weekly vlog. So I will link my weekly vlog above. I think it's number 53. So if you want to go check that out um, and hear more about them, but I are, they are definitely on my favorites list. I have loved them, especially in the summer. There are so many days where I am wearing little to no makeup or I'm outside and it's warm or hot or you know when I when we went away we were you know in pools on the beach things like that and having these extensions has just been it's just been fun it's totally not necessary it's just been a fun thing that um, I've really really enjoyed do you hear my dog barking it's because one of our neighbors got a new dog and I love dogs but this particular dog is on my naughty list <laughs> because he just barks around the clock non-stop he never stops barking and so that barking sometimes makes my dog bark and it drives me a little bit batty a little bit batty especially when i'm trying to get work done during the day and it's just like incessant barking so i don't know what the polite thing to do <clears throat> is i guess probably talk to the neighbors but they're home <clears throat> I can see their cars in the driveway, so I don't, I just am like, do you not hear the incessant barking for six hours straight? I'm not sure. I don't know how to approach that. Anyway, moving on, makeup and beauty. Um, this face wash has been a favorite of mine. People obsessively ask me about what I'm doing for skincare. Um, not because my skin looks good, because if you've watched my weekly vlog, like under my makeup, I've been dealing with pregnancy hormonal acne pretty severely on and off throughout my entire pregnancy. I guess, I don't, I don't know why. I guess because I used to make my own skincare system. I did that for several years. I got bored of it. I started just buying my own. And so people, I mean, like every day I get questions on Instagram, people ask me what I'm doing. So I figured I should share this is what I've been using lately. This is the Rooted Beauty Sensitive Facial Cleaner Cleanser um, with aloe and chamomile. And it's hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, dermatologist tested, yada yada, all that kind of stuff. I have very, very sensitive skin and I've really liked this. This one's empty, if you can hear. And so I just bought um, another one of 
them. I will link it below. I purchased these through Grove, which is where I buy a whole bunch of my household cleaning products, skincare, like I just buy a lot from there. I like their selection. They have a lot of more natural leaning products, which is more kind of the way that I like to lean. Um, and I just really like it. I don't think yeah, it doesn't really have a scent. It smells a little bit like chamomile because there's chamomile in it, but it's fragrance-free. There's no fragrance in it. Um, but like the second ingredient is aloe. It's very soothing. It's very gentle, um, and I've really enjoyed using it throughout my pregnancy, especially in the summer months, you know, when it's drier and hotter and things like that. I feel like it really restores the moisture. Rude to Beauty also has a few other things that I've tried, um, some moisturizers that I've really liked, um, a few different things that I've tried. And they have different lines. This is the sensitive line, but um, I really, I really like this. If you have sensitive skin, I do, I do recommend it. I do really like it. The next thing on my list is pregnancy related, although I really like this. I've been using it all over my body, um, but it is the Earth Mama Belly Butter. And I've been using this since the very beginning of my pregnancy, and um, it's supposed to help ease skin and help, you know, prevent stretch marks. Now, all the research I've done has shown that stretch marks are basically genetic, and so we all can do, we can lather up with the lotions and cocoa butters and things, and I think that certainly helps the skin stretch through pregnancy, but everything that I've read has, at the end of the day, said, well, it's kind of genetic at the end of the day, but you should take care of your skin, so moisturize if you can. Anyway, I really like this. It has a very, very light, light scent, um, sort of like a vanilla lavender maybe kind of scent. Yeah, sort of like vanilla, lavender, chamomile, something like that. Um, this scent will, I know, forever remind me of this period of time of being pregnant with our first baby because, man, it is like I just love this stuff. It's very thick. It is very, very thick. I have extremely dry skin, and so I really like this. Um, and so I put it on my arms, legs, all over my belly, my back. Like I lather up after I get out of the shower. I use this, and then before bed, I'll put it on my belly and my hips and stuff like that. Um, I haven't got any stretch marks yet. They probably, I'm thinking, are coming <laughs> because I got some when I was going through puberty um, across my hips. So I know that genetically I'm predisposed to them, um, but that's okay. It's a small price to pay, but I still have been really liking this. So if you are pregnant yourself or, you know, whatever, and you're interested, I really do like it. It's all, it's very natural. It smells nice. It's, it's thick and moisturizing without being um, greasy or anything like that. So I really liked this. And then the last thing in my makeup and beauty category is this lipstick. It is from Maybelline, I believe. Yes, Maybelline. And let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. It is shade 205 and it's called Barely There. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. This has been oh, nearly there. I'm, excuse me, nearly there. I've been wearing this all summer long. I really, really like the shade of it. Let me show you. Now, of course, everyone has a different skin tone, so different, um, different products and different lip colors and things are going to look completely different. On different women um, but I really like this I have as you can see I have very 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 fair light skin um, I do have a cool toned skin and I really like the way this looks I mean I'm wearing it right now so you can see and decide for yourself um, I feel like it's a good summer color it's nude it kind of goes with everything it's not has a little bit of shimmer which I, I like a little bit of um, shimmer a little bit more dewiness in the summer just because I think it looks really fresh and um, anyway really been enjoying this I've gotten a couple of questions on recent videos what um, lip color are you wearing and it's been this this is what I've been wearing in pretty much all of my recent videos um, so I'll link it below I'm sure you can probably get it cheaper if you don't buy it online probably it's I got this I think from Walmart or CVS um, so something like that would probably be the cheapest way to get it but I love Maybelline lipsticks like this I have several that um I really I wear all the time that I really like the way they wear and I like the shades that they have. All right, that's all for makeup and beauty. Let's move on to the home decor and products section. So um, this is something, these two things are, I'm not exactly sure where to put them. So I'm putting them here in this category, but they are Clear, which is a subscription service that you sign up for, for going through security more quickly, largely at airports, but it is also at some stadiums and other places like that. And then TSA PreCheck. So 
if you travel a lot and you specifically if you fly on planes a lot, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting clear and or TSA pre-check. I having the two of them together, I am not exaggerating when I say that my husband and I both have both and we can get through security in seriously usually three to four minutes. We're talking three to four minutes at peak travel times. When we were to coming and going from Orlando, um, which is a very, it is my nightmare airport. I cannot stand the Orlando airport. Um, it always means good things, usually because we're, we're going to Disney. We love Disney, but the actual airport is just so congested and crowded. I don't like the way it's laid out. Anyway, we with having clear and pre-check, we got through Orlando security in three and a half minutes three and a half minutes. Um, usually it's a solid 45 minutes getting through Orlando. So anyway, I highly recommend it. So the difference between the two is that clear, it confirms your identity. So you can skip the line where you are, um, when you wait in line for security and you go up to the TSA agent and you show your ID and you show your boarding pass and they're confirming your identity. Instead, you go through a separate clear line and you scan, they scan either your irises um, or your, a certain fingerprint. For me, it's like my two fingerprints. And um, they do one of the or the other of those, and that confirms your identity. So you skip that line and you immediately get in line at security. And then because we also have TSA pre-check, we get to go through a special TSA pre-check security line. So we have had our backgrounds checked and um, all of that. We had to go to a special place and get fingerprinted and all these kinds of things. Totally worth the hassle. You go through all of that, but then when you go through TSA pre-check security, you don't take anything out of your bags, including like laptops, court-sized bags with liquid. Like you don't take any of that. That all stays in your bag and you don't take your shoes off. So we get to the airport and we go into, into clear. We scan our fingers. They walk us right into the TSA security line and then we put our bags on there and we walk through the scanners or whatever and we're done. It is seriously a couple of minutes. It's unbelievable. My family lives across the country in Maryland and I go and visit them quite a lot. And then we also travel on our own every several, you know, few months, twice a year, three times a year, something like that. So we're on planes a lot. And this has made traveling so much more enjoyable. There is a fee to both of them. Um, I will link below more information because I don't want to give wrong information and I also don't want to say the fees as of right now because they can always change in the future. I think that Clear has some sort of referral program. Um, if that is the case, I will absolutely put my referral link below so that you can get, I think that the referral program they have is that you get three months free. That's how we got turned on to Clear in the first place is that we used my mom's referral code and the two of us got three months of free Clear and we fell in completely in love with it and just it's just the best thing ever. Um, this would not, I don't think it would be worth it if you traveled once a year, but if you're like us and you are regularly on airplanes and you're regularly going through security, um, I think you, you will really, really, really enjoy it. Ever since, since I got pregnant, I think I've been on like nine flights. And so it's just made it so much easier not having to wait in those lines. So I will, I could go on and on, but I highly recommend clear and TSA pre-check. Um, seriously game changers if you do a lot of airport travel. The next thing on my home decor and products list are smart plugs. So I bought Riley a pack of four. I, I don't, I can't have them with me because they're all, they're plugged in around the house. <laughs> but these smart plugs from Amazon and they are linked to our Amazon Alexa. I will not say that word over and over in case you're in a room with one of them so that she's not constantly waking up and annoying you. Um, but they are linked with our Echo, I'll say. And um, we are able to tell her to turn the lights on, turn the lights off. And so we put these smart plugs all through the main part of our house. We have them in our den, in our kitchen, in our in this little kind of entryway area, and then in our front room, as well as our back porch lights are on a smart plug, an outdoor smart plug. 
So when we wake up in the morning, we can say good, we tell her good morning and all of our lights turn on. Well, actually we have certain ones that turn on in the morning and then we can say good night and they all turn off. We can tell her to turn on particular rooms and it is like so fun. It's, it's just been great. It's really nice when we are heading to bed to just be able to say good night and all the lights in our home go off. Um, automatically so highly highly recommend I give the four plugs to Riley as like a Father's Day gift this year I just wanted to get him something just something because we're expecting a baby and so we're not like actively parenting yet but um, I just wanted to get him a little something so I got him a card and I got him a little um, pack of four of those because I knew he would he would love them and it's we've both really enjoyed them so highly recommend I will link them below I thought that the price was pretty good um, for the four of them and we have completely become obsessed with them next up in home decor and products this probably could go with clothing and accessories this is just a sunglass case and um the sunglasses that i have in here they came with like a really big I got these from eBags of all places. I can link them below. I really like them. Um, sunglasses are so personal, different people's face shapes and whatnot. But they came with like a big bulky case. Now a big bulky case obviously provides more protection for your sunglasses, but I cannot stand having a big bulky sunglass case in my bags that I'm carrying around. Um, like in my purse or if I'm going to the pool or whatever, I just don't like it. This is um, like a faux leather case, and then it has the little wires up at the front. Um, so there, can you see that? And it has kind of like this florally bird pattern on it. It's not like my favorite pattern of all time, but I think it's pretty cute. There are a lot of different patterns. And then this is kind of like a metal closure. So if you pull it like that, it opens up, of course. You can put your sunglasses in and then it's sealed and the sunglasses won't come out. And um, I'm not like slinging my bag around so that these would get you know, broken. It protects them well enough. But this was $9.97 off Amazon, this case. And like I said, it comes in a variety of different styles and, and colors and patterns and things like that. So if you're the same way and you have a bulky sunglass case and you're tired of it, I really like this one. It's also just really easy to, you know, to grab your sunglasses. So that is that. Moving on to my entertainment section, which I share like TV, music, books, podcasts, YouTube channels, whatever I've kind of been listening to. No big surprise, I have been listening to lots of things related to babies and birth and things like that because I'm in my third trimester and our baby girl is coming sooner than later, which is really exciting. Um, I have been listening to a podcast called The Birth Hour for years, years and years and years. I have definitely mentioned it. I think I mentioned it when I was still blogging my monthly favorites rather than filming them for YouTube years ago, well before we were even thinking about getting pregnant because I've just always had a huge fascination with birth and um, just really, I just have always, always since I was little been very, very interested in it. I think because I grew up in a really big family where there were always cousins being born and my mom's one of nine siblings and so there's just like a lot of birth in our family. I've always been really fascinated by it. And so this podcast is women sharing their birth stories. Basically, that's what it is. And there are hundreds of episodes. I mean, hundreds, I think 300, 400 episodes. I've listened to every single one over the past three or four years that I've been listening to the podcast. And I've listened to other birth story type podcasts or birth related podcasts. And there are some other good ones, but I think this one, it, it, personally, this is my very, very favorite. Um, so I just thought I'd share it in case anyone else out there is like a birth junkie and is interested in things like this or is also pregnant and would like to listen to other you know women tell their birth stories I think it's a really good way to kind of mentally prepare for different eventualities and different um, things that could happen because of course when you're going into labor there are all kinds of different variables and and things go a variety of different ways and so hearing different women talk through how they navigated those things I think has been it's a good um, mental preparation for me. Although I'm the kind of person where I like a lot of information. I think some people feel like less is more. So it, it really depends on, on your personal preference. But the birth hour has definitely been, um, it's been a favorite for a long time, but recently it's been particularly a favorite for obvious reasons. Okay, moving on to clothing and accessories. This is kind of a funny thing to share, but it's the type of thing that I think some of you will appreciate hearing about. So this is a sports bra. <laughs> um, and I was looking for, as my pregnant belly has grown, 
everything has grown. And so I was looking for um, a sports bra that would be supportive and comfy that I could wear during the day. And I bought this off Amazon and it was $17 for a two pack. So this is obviously like a heathered gray. And then it also came the in the pack, there was a solid black one, which is in the wash right now. So I just have this one with me. It's really, really well made. I like the way that the elastic feels. I'm very particular about my clothing. I like the way this feels. It doesn't rub under my arm. Um, it washes really, really well. I typically wear anything like up top. I usually wear a medium in, but I did get a large in this just because my rib cage has been expanding and there's more to hold. And so I wanted to, um, I wanted to size up and this is incredibly comfortable. It's incredibly comfortable. Um, I would say that it's medium support. I think if I had gotten a medium, it would be instead of, because this is a large, if I had sized it down, it would be tighter, so it would be more supportive, but this has been perfect. Sometimes I sleep in this, um, sometimes I, you know, wear it all day while I'm getting things done. I just have been really happy with these, these bras. I'd like to get a couple more of them, actually. Um, I was really impressed. They're the Amazon Essentials brand, and for $17 in free shipping, I felt like that was really reasonable. Some sports bras are so expensive. Like, even in Target, sometimes I'm pretty alarmed by how expensive and pricey they are. Um, and those I've been super happy with. I find, feel like they're really comfortable. Like I said, they've washed really well, and two for $17 I felt like was a really good deal. So if you're in, on the lookout, um, go check those out because they're great. Next up are these... They're kind of like loungewear pants. Um, I wear them to bed and to lounge around the house. I don't wear them out of the house. Um, they are floral pants. I think they're really cute. This exact pair of pants is from Pink Blush Maternity, which is an online clothing boutique mainly specializing in maternity, but they have other things too. But these are, there's nothing about them that's maternity. The ba this the top part is not um, elasticized at all. It's just a drawstring. And I sized up and got a large in these as well. I usually wear, like I said, a medium. Um, but for obvious reasons, I was like, eh, I might want some more space. But anyway, the drawstring makes it so that you can tighten them up and make them, you know, whatever. So I will link them um, to Pink Blush, but almost the exact same pair of loungewear pants in floral patterns is available on Amazon, and I actually just added a pair to my cart. I want to get another pair because these have just been great. I love the texture of the inside. Let me see if I can show that. Can you see that? It's almost like... I don't know, like almost kind of reminds me of like a terry cloth texture. It's just very comfortable and the outside is just like super, super soft. So I've been wearing these a lot. Like once I'm finished with work and finished with Etsy, like 4, 5, 6 p.m. Lately it's been a little bit more like 6, 7, 8 p.m. I put these on. We'll watch TV, cook dinner. Um, I'll fall asleep in them. I just really like them. They're really comfy. Um, but they would be comfortable pregnant or not. They're, they're not, like I said, they don't have like a belly strap or anything like that. Speaking of belly straps, the last thing I want to talk about in my clothing and accessories category is this belly band. Um, this is hard to show, so I'll have to insert a picture of the Amazon listing photo. Um, but basically, it's an elasticized band that has Velcro um, around the back, and you put it around your lower belly, and it just helps support your belly while you're going throughout your day. Um, one thing that I have definitely been experiencing more as I've gotten bigger is that there's a lot of pressure, like lower pressure toward the end of the day, just from my body and my muscles, which are like moving, trying to support <laughs> this belly. And um, that thing has been fantastic. It just provides that support. It feels really, really good. And um, it was very affordable. It was for what, for how much relief it provided me, it's 20 bucks, which I felt was more than worth it because I was going to bed at night and just really achy and sore. Um, and since wearing that, I've, I've noticed a big shift. Um, so I, I really recommend it. And that's something that um, several of my friends have said that it's great to wear postpartum when you're just needing that extra support postpartum as well. Finally, I have our priceless, my priceless category um, of things that are, you know, not necessarily free, but things that I can't hold up and show you. So, of course, our Walt Disney World land and Disney Cruise sea trip, our land and street sea trip, um, was in from like late May through June, and um, it was 
amazing. It was one of the best trips that I've ever been on, that either of us have ever been on. We just had the most amazing time, and I vlogged that whole trip, so I will link the playlist above if you want to check that out. And then a few weeks after I got home from that, I went just me out to the East Coast to visit my side of the family at the beach for a few days, and that was super, super fun as well. It was just great to be there. My sister, she's, gosh, she's coming up on nine months, um, being nine months pregnant here. She might have already hit it, um, but she's about to give birth just in a couple of weeks. So exciting. Um, so, so exciting. And so anyway, so she was there, and I was there, and we had our bellies, and we were <laughs> Like, you know, eating together and enjoying and talking through all the things that are coming up. It was just like, we just had a really nice time. And um, my the rest of my family was there as well. And swimming feels so good when you're pregnant. So anyway, we just had a really fun time. And then the last thing on my price list category was um, setting up our nursery. We set up our nursery a few weeks ago. I'll link that video above as well. And um, that was not priceless. That cost money to do, of course, but it was so priceless to see like a crib in our house. It was the, one of the wildest things to walk in and see a crib, like a baby's crib that there's going to be a baby in. So we're just really excited. So those are my June and July favorites for 2019. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below with what you've been loving. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.